This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at biological pigments. Biological pigments are colored compounds produced by living organisms. Pigment molecules absorb light in the visible region of the spectrum, which is between 400 and 700 nanometers. Here we have an absorption spectrum for chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a biological pigment that can be found in the cells of a plant. By looking at the spectrum, we can see that certain wavelengths of visible light are being absorbed and certain wavelengths are being reflected. Chlorophyll appears green because it absorbs wavelengths of visible light at 430 and 660 nanometers and reflects the remaining wavelengths. Highly conjugated systems, which have alternating single and double bonds, absorb wavelengths of light in the visible region of the spectrum. Here we have the structural formula for chlorophyll. As you can see, it's a highly conjugated system with alternating single and double bonds. A conjugated system has a region of overlapping p orbitals with delocalized pi electrons. The delocalized pi electrons absorb wavelengths of light in the visible region and are excited to higher energy levels. A color wheel can be used to determine the color of a pigment. The color that is reflected, which is the color that we see, is the complementary color of the color that is absorbed. So for example, a pigment that absorbs wavelengths of green light will appear red. So by looking at the color wheel, a pigment that absorbs green light will reflect the complementary color which is red. Here we have two examples of biological pigments. At the top we have beta-carotene which absorbs blue light and reflects orange light. And at the bottom we have retinol which absorbs violet light and reflects yellow light. By looking at the structures we can see that beta-carotene has a larger conjugated system than retinol. Therefore the wavelength of light that is absorbed by a biological pigment depends on the size of the conjugated system. So as we saw in the previous slide, beta-carotene absorbs blue light and reflects orange and retinol absorbs violet and reflects yellow. By looking at the color wheel, we can see that blue light has a longer wavelength than violet light. So the larger the conjugated system, the longer the wavelength of light that is absorbed. In colored pigments, molecules with larger conjugated systems will absorb longer wavelengths of visible light. And finally, here we have some more examples of biological pigments. We have an anthocyanin and heme. Just like beta-carotene and chlorophyll, these molecules have highly conjugated systems which absorb wavelengths of light in the visible region. And in the next video, we look at these molecules in more detail. 